Okay, now go! Come on! Back up and go! Back up more! More! Way harder! Go! Retard! Give it some gas and go, Jeremy. Not gonna hurt anything. Now go! Oh! Harder! <laughs> That's clear. <laughs> Smashed the shit out of that thing. You killed it. <laughs> that's a that's a heater core, ain't it? Where the hell's it coming out from? I'll turn it on again. We'll see where it sprays. Maybe a tranny line. Oh. Driving on vehicles is carnage. <laughs> I guess. It's just like how we cracked this transmission. Okay, start it up and I'll see where it's coming from. Whoa, 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 shut up. It's coming out near the power steering box. So you're, when your engine bounced, it must have hit that fitting. So I broke off the little flanges on the moldings of the transfer case and I dented that. And you bent your front control arm upwards. I did. I did? That's been bent. Oh, it's been bent? Yeah. What other damage happened? That's all I see. Gotta be careful. It's just like you need a skeleton. If he had his skip plate on there, probably wouldn't have died. So the carnage was a mashed up trans cross member. Changed that out with the spare I had. Heater core needed to be changed anyway, so I changed that. And. And this little fitting. Wait a minute. And this fitting here that was on the ram assist cracked because the engine, uh, I guess when it bounced back down after being pulled off, it goes in the side of the steering box right there. It's a little hole. I don't know if you can see it. And that bumped into the oil pressure sending unit. So I'm going to have to make a little space in there, change it slightly somehow. Had to take the whole steering box off to get that darn piece out. Used an easy out. It finally worked. Anyway, it's all back together, just waiting for the new piece. <laughs>